Ezekiel 33. Say this to them. Thus says the Lord God, As I live, surely those who are in the waste places shall fall by the sword, and whoever's in the open field I will give to the beasts to be devoured. And those who are in strongholds and in caves shall die by pestilence. And I will make the land a desolation and a waste, and her proud might shall come to an end, and the mountains shall be so desolate that none will pass through. Then they will know that I am the Lord. When I have made the land a desolation and a waste because of all their abominations that they have committed. As for you, son of man, your people who talk together about you by the walls and at the doors of the houses, say to one another, each to his brother, Come, and hear what the word is that comes from the Lord. And they come to you as people come, and they sit before you as my people, and they hear what you say, but they will not do it. For with lustful talk in their mouths they act, their heart is set on their gain. And behold, you are to them like one who sings lustful songs with a beautiful voice, and plays well on an instrument, but they hear what you say, but they will not do it. When this comes, and come it will, then they will know that a prophet has been among them. I speak unto thee, and I say that I've spoken it, I've declared it, and I say that I've established it, that it is me, the living God, who is bringing war. That is, it is me, the living God, who is opening the floodgates of hell upon the sons of men, and I say that I'm bringing war. For I say that men have desired carnage, they have lusted for blood, now I say they shall see what they have long for come to pass. And I say that they themselves shall be counted as casualties in the same. For I say it is me, the living God, who is going to heap upon the wicked the rewards that they are worthy to receive. And I say the carnage they have desired, the carnage they have lusted for and longed for shall be upon them. And I say it is me, the living God, who will bring forth the endless war, the bloody war, the never-ending war, the fierce war, the violent war. And I say, what shall men do in the same? For I say, there is no man, nor woman, nor nation that can stop what it is that I bring forth. And I say that I will speak it forth, I will declare it, that it shall be my holy war. Now I say that I, the living God, did give the call to all men to repent, to return to me, to walk uprightly in me. And I say that I even call them to repentance, revolution, which would have been and is still my war against sin. And I say that I've called men to enter into the revolution, to stop the old way, to cease from sin, to walk uprightly in me. And I say that I've called men to know what it is to be kept, for I am the keeper of them. But I say when men refuse me, when they stubbornly, proudly cling to their own understanding, when they desire to have things their way and they are so strictly carnal, then I say that I, the living God, will turn them over to the carnage that I will bring forth. For I say it is me, the living God, who is thoroughly disgusted with the misbehavior of humankind. For I say, they have gone a whoring, they have given themselves over to idolatry, abomination, perversion of every kind. And I say, they have proudly flaunted their misconduct, their sins, their vileness, their wickedness, their perversions before me. And I say, they have declared that I am done away with and that they shall remain. Therefore I say that it is me, the living God, who shall give them war. That is, I will bring war upon them, I will bring war among them, I will bring war on every hand. And I say they will find no peace nor rest because they have rejected me. And I say they will find no light upon the path for darkness shall be on every hand. And I say it is the just punishment, it is the just punishment that men are worthy to receive. Now I say this day that I the living God do intend that men would be ever faithful to fight the eternal war against the sin that lurks in their members and come forth repentant unto me. And I say that I've intended that men would fight the external demon forces that come upon them to get them to desert to go far from me. But I say because men have refused to enter into war but have wanted the carnage of flesh, I say I will give them the same. That is, because they have desired to see bloodshed, they have desired to see violence, they have desired to see murder, oh, they shall have what they want. And I say to war that I, the living God, shall keep upon them exactly what they have longed and lusted for, thirsted for, and I say they shall be devoured in the same. 
For I say it is me, the living God, who will indeed bring forth full-scale slaughter. For I say they have slaughtered the innocents with no remorse over the same. And I say they have shed the blood of those who had no defense. And I say that I, the living God, will bring them bloodshed in return. And I say, because they have lusted for war, I say, the same shall be given unto them multiplied. Now I say, this day, that I, the living God, do call the ones who love me, to stay true unto me, to continue in repentance, revolution each day. That is, I call them to humble themselves, to bow down low, to be subject to me. For I say, when my people will walk in the way of humility, be guided forth in the same, then I say, they are given the truth and the light by me. And yes, they are given exactly what they have need of, for I, the living God, am ever present in my mercy unto them. But I say that the ones who have strayed from me, gone a whoring, and taken the way of fools, where do they end? I say they end in the war, they end in the carnage, they end in destruction and damnation of soul. So I say for men in all of their wise conceit, in all of their elevated positions, in all of their mad and insane schemes of conspiracy against me, I say that they are the fools. For I say that I, the living God, am not mocked, and I say they are the ones who will be mocked. For I say, while they have indeed plotted and schemed and instigated and celebrated, I say it is me, the living God, who shall bring them down. For I say they have warred against my righteousness, they have warred against my truth, I say they have warred against my prophets crying out. And I say they have warred against the standard that I, the living God, desire for men to live in. Now I say that all of their efforts for war shall pay off, for I will give unto them war. And I say that I will indeed make carnage of them, I will make nothing of them, in the sense that they shall not remain. For I say they will be utterly devastated, slaughtered, and brought to nothing at all except the heap of ruination, and enter into hell. For I say that I, the living God, am so disgusted with the sons of men. And I say the proud, the defiant, the rebellious who have thought they got by on me will find that it is not true. And I say that the ones who were content to sit passively by not entering at all into the war that I have declared against sin but refusing to stand in me, I say they will find themselves in the throes of bitter war. And I say they will not be able to escape, for I say that is my punishment upon the sons of men. And I say it is me, the living God, who is holy high above men. And I say when I declare my war, it is a holy war. For I say that it comes of me, the one true God who remains. And I say that men will be in bitter turmoil, they will be in upheaval. And I say they will be daily distraught. And I say they will live in fear, they will live in tribulation. And I say they have brought it to themselves. And I say it is because they stubbornly, proudly refuse me, they divide me. And I say they chose to walk afar off from me. And I say they have brought their own despair. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never call men to live in the despair, but I say they bring it to themselves. That is, they bring despair to themselves because they refuse to obey me. And I say they bring disruption and dismay of soul because they've gone according from my way. Now I say this day in a wicked, a perverse, a vile, and evil generation, consider that it is me, the living God, who desires a people true unto me. That is, in the midst of holy war, I desire the ones who will indeed enter into and remain in repentance, revolution before me. That is, they will be glad to proclaim me, declare me, and live for me each and every day. And I say it is because they have estranged themselves from the filthiness of the world, they have declared war upon the dictates of their own carnality, and I say they are not subject to evil men. And I say it is because they are choosing the higher kingdom, the kingdom wherein I abide. But I say that the ones who are choosing the base, the carnal, the filthy, the perverse, I say they will reap the rewards of their choices against me. And I say they will reap in the flesh, they will reap in the spirit, they will reap till they cry out and scream out in the agony of the same. And I say they will know the torment, they will know the anguish, they will know the bloodshed they have imagined they so desire to see. And I say that their eyes shall be blinded and they will still see the war before them. That is, they will see the bloodshed, the carnage, and I say they will see the violence day after day. And I say for them there is no escape because they are transgressors, they are murderers, they are violators before me. 
and I say through their wise conceit, through their arrogance, their pride, they will be brought low. And I say it is because I, the living God, have declared war, endless war, holy war, against the unrighteous, the filthy, the vile. And I say, when my punishment is revealed in its fullness, they may cry out, they may agonize, they may beg for mercy, but I say that none can stop the war. For I say, when I, the living God, do give my dictates, I say, there is none that can cause the same to disappear. And I say, there is none that can cause me to draw back from what it is that I have ordained. For I say that I've intended that men would be in servitude to me. And I say that I've intended that men would walk in my way and be ever thankful to be serving me. And I say when men through arrogance, pride, and rebellion against me literally hate my way, seek to undermine the same, and devour human souls in the process of it all, I say such ones are utter fools before me. For I say for all of their conceit, their arrogance, their thinking, they remain forever, it is not true. And I say, when men have thirsted and lusted for violence, for murder, for bloodshed, and even many of them have entered into physical war for no cause at all, except to shed the blood of those who are not responsible before them, why do they do so? I say it is because of the evil, the wickedness that is found in their hearts, and I say they pay for the same. For I say that I, the living God, release the torments of war upon the foolish, upon the corrupted, upon the wicked. And I say when men will live in perpetual constant war, I say they will have no peace in their lives. And I say they will reach out, cry out, and call upon one they think to be their friend, and the same is proven to be the enemy unto them. For I say there will be no friendship, no fellowship, for men shall be at war. I say this day that I, the living God, will protect the ones who continue in repentance revolution. I say that I will bring them forth. And I say that I will give them my light upon the path, my truth, my mercy, and the hope of who I am. And I say that they will indeed be able to be guided as they remain in humility before me. But I say that the ones who have chosen the way of the whorish, the way of the fools, the way of the vile, of course they will be rewarded with the corruption that is in them. Now I say this day that I, the living God, have declared it, and when I have put forth the declaration, I say that it is. And I say that men shall see, as time shall transpire, that exactly what I've said shall come to pass. And I say that the misery of war, the suffering of war, the carnage of war, will become commonplace unto them. And I say they will live in the agony, the anguish of the same. But I say in the midst of the holy war there will be the call to repentance, revolution, to any and all who will hear and obey. That is, who will leave behind the old way, the vile way of wickedness and run into me. And I say throughout the nations that men will hear the spirit call. And I say they will be humbled enough by the terrors of war to realize their utter need of me. I say this day be thankful that it is me, the living God, who will give to the truly repentant the way of mercy, the way of life. And it is me, the living God, who will hear the cries in the midst of anguish of those who are desirous of serving me. But I say that the ones who are stubborn and proud and resenting, resisting and hating me, I say they will receive the reward of war. And I say that the war will not cease, the war will increase, and I say that the war shall be constant in their lives. I say this day, be thankful, be thankful, be thankful, that it is me you can look to, that it is me that you can believe in, that it is me that you can obey. For I say that the wicked governments of men think they go on forever, it is not true. For I say it is me, the living God, who will bring them to ruination, devastation, and many shall be not at all. For I say it is me, the living God, who brings down nations, who renders them nothing, who brings them to naught. Therefore I say this day do not fear men in all of their threats, intimidations, and evil conspiracy, but I say fear me. For I say it is me, the living God, who reigns supreme, it is me, the living God, who shall have my way, it is me, the living God, who shall prevail. I say be thankful to serve, to love, to obey me, even in the midst of war. For I say that the way of peace is prepared for those who cling to me, that is, in repentance, in revolution against sin, in the straight and narrow way that I provide. The uh, shooting down of the Russian plane by the Turks uh, sent a message that perhaps this conflict will lead to a major conflict. Uh